We are here to talk about circles and I want to introduce some very important language. I'm sure you already know what a circle looks like. Yeah, it's a shape in this form. And um, you'll be have to, uh, you will have to calculate, for instance, the area of a circle, which is still the inside, like for a polygon. But when we talk about the perimeter, for circles, we don't talk about the perimeter, we talk about the circumference. So, if you see the word circumference, you are actually talking about the perimeter of a circle. That's the perimeter. Perimeter of a circle. Okay? So don't get confused. It means the same thing. Eh? It's the length of the outside. Yeah? So area is area, but the circumference we use to talk about the length of the outside. Okay. And a circle has a midpoint, yeah, a point exactly in the middle. And there are two things you need to realize. If I draw a line from one side of the circumference through the middle all the way to the other side of the circumference, that is a very important line. Yeah, and that will all make sense later. We call that line, if I just move my sheet a little bit, we call that line the diameter. The diameter. Okay, so that is a line from one side of sorry from one side of the circumference through the midpoint to the other side of the circumference. Okay, that is the diameter. So if I would draw this line from the circumference to the other side of the circumference, is that also a diameter? No, it's not because it doesn't go through the midpoint. Yeah, that is a chord. And, uh, or a chord, and we will talk about that later. Uh, this is just introducing the basic language. Okay, so the diameter. So the length of the diameter is everywhere the same, even from this point of the circumference through the midpoint to the other side of the circumference. That length will equal that length. The diameter is the diameter. And then the last word you need to be familiar with, very important word, is well, if I am at the midpoint and I go to the circumference over there, the length of that line, or that line, we call the radius. So I'm just going to put an arrow there. We call that the radius. All right? And that is a really important word. You will encounter it all the time. That is the radius. That is the diameter. Okay? So the radius is the length of the line from the midpoint to the circumference. And I hope you also realize that from the midpoint to any point at the circumference, the radius is the same, yeah? the length is the same everywhere. Okay? So those are all radii, yeah? Or a radius and a multiple amount of radius, yeah? Okay, excellent. Radius, diameter. Now there's one last thing I want to say. Do you agree that the diameter of a circle, the diameter, equals two times a radius. Do you agree with that? So if I have a diameter, yeah, so the green one, can you still see that one? Is that the same as two times the radius? Well, from the midpoint, that is one radius that direction, and another radius that direction, so indeed, Two times the radius is the diameter. Or if you like, the diameter divided by two is the radius. Okay, and in future example questions, um, I will show you again why that is so important to realize. For now, we have introduced a few important words. The circumference, which is the perimeter, if you like, of a circle, the length of the outside. We have spoken about the diameter, which is that line from one side of the circumference through the midpoint all the way to the other side of the circumference. And we've spoken about a radius. And the radius is that line from the middle of your circle to the circumference of the circle. Yeah? So two times the radius is your diameter. Yeah? Or your diameter is uh, divided by two, I have to say, is your radius. Okay, go to the next video, because I'm gonna talk about pi. Not about apple pie, but a different kind of pie. See you there.